YouTube. Today we are in Chartret, which is a small village in, um, in Saint -Omar. Saint -Omar. Yes, and uh, we're here today because we wanted to show you how the life is in smaller villages in France while people are still kind of confined, while we still um, have to, you know, stick around <laughs> and, and not go too far. We're going to check out a couple of old churches and we are going to check out um, a chateau. There's a chateau at the entrance of the city. Quite yeah. small, but we will check it out. Yeah, and walk around the forest. So, on you are. On you So we just had to go, we, we decided to take a route through the uh, forest because the way along the highway is just impossible. The reason is not only the cars but also the sidewalks. <laughs> we were walking through the field. You know when they say, oh, field, you see these images, people are going in the field and they're all like happy and beautiful and everything. Oh, oh, on the field. Yeah, sure. It's prickly, it's dirty and it's not nice. Noise it looks pretty well. though. It's noise. No, but noise is because of cars. But field in general, it's not your carpet. I don't know what's wrong with people. No, it looks nice though. <laughs> Let's go. So what do you do when you are in confinement? What do you do? <laughs> well, you explore the nature. You explore the nature? Yeah. You know, this time, this COVID situation has forced us really to look inwards, you know? And I think we're not the only ones. And I think it's a plus. It's been a year almost yeah. since the lockdown and then we cannot even go to a museum. Yeah. So it's a minus. But they're promising to open them starting from mid-May, so that's a good thing. Yeah. And, um, and we'll we see. And we can start traveling to other regions as well. Yes. So we are happy about that. We are very happy about that because we have something already prepared. Yeah. We have planned our uh, movements around the country, let's say that. And um, we've been looking forward to that. So now we are in forest. This one is very strange because like half of it like we were walking and then suddenly it's a private property and then we had to go around it and then we found that there is more private property areas but then half of, like some of the areas are not private it's a bit strange it's a bit creepy as well yeah it's very weird it doesn't feel like a forest we are walking towards livre sur so we yeah. get here from paris you get the train line r and then uh, you get off at the station called livre sur -Sain. it yeah. takes you 40 minutes from Paris. Yeah, and you need to make sure to get on the branch that goes to Montreux. Oh yeah.
So something interesting happened. Everybody we met so far that came across us was smiling at us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And in our latest video we talk about the cultural norms in France and we mentioned that normally people don't smile. Uh, if you smile at them, they may think you are freaky or creepo, I don't know. So, so we're starting to think maybe that just applies to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the case. <laughs> we don't know because over here, yeah, people people are smiling you know. and they're nice. Like they're all smiling. They all say bonjour. You know, it's I like it. It's really cool. It's really cool. So which one is your favorite Anton? Um, Livre sur Seine or Chatret? I think Livre sur Seine is uh, calmer. I think. And Chartret, I think Chartret is. Um, it's got a nice church. I like it. And it's got some chateaus, but these chateaus, they're all pri private. Yeah. So uh, you can't go in. They you know? look very ancient, though. They look really old. Yeah. They look really pretty, but you can't even get close to them because of the, uh, the fence. And they have this huge amount of like land around them, huge parks. One, we had to walk around it for like 40 minutes. We had to go around it just to get to where we needed to go. Yeah. And the church is so nice as well. It's from 13th century. Um, it was destroyed partially in, uh, uh, by the English in the Hundred Year war, war. And oh my goodness, I just saw a rat. It's okay, it's okay to record. <laughs> and you know, we went to a forest, we saw we saw a snake in the forest, it was quite scary. Yeah. A few dogs. You know what people, when you have dogs, please put them on a leash. Because um, you know, us like cut peop cat people, we smell like cats, so dogs freak out. And then we freak out back, you know? So it's not nice. <laughs> yeah. It's scary for both sides actually. Yeah. 